Welcome back. And Selena's got a new single and, uh, uh, sorry, rather a new single. And Demi's got a new doc. And guess who is singing at tomorrow's inauguration of Joe Biden? Any ideas? Well, Jax Irwin has all the information and she joins us this morning with a look at the week's top stories in music. Happy Tuesday to you, Jax. Happy Tuesday to you. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> okay, so Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, this is, this is big news. She's singing in Spanish. Tell us about her new single. It's funny because just a couple of weeks ago, we were chatting saying, where is Selena Gomez? Of course, she's been really busy with her, her new show, uh, Selena and Chef, which actually just got renewed for a second season. But we want new music from her. And she just dropped a brand new song out of the blue on Thursday evening. She announced on Thursday that she'd be dropping uh, a brand new song and her first single in Spanish since 2018's Taki Taki. It's so good. It's melodic. It's sultry. It's sexy. Uh, she even had a video with it. So it's like, it's the music gods were answering. We wanted new Selena and, and she provided. It was fantastic. Well, let's move on to the inauguration because as we said earlier, when a Democrat is in power, that typically draws the star power to the inauguration. And they're kicking it off uh, with a bang with Lady Gaga announced to perform the national anthem, but she's not it. There's a lot more. Yeah, it's, you know, obviously one of the biggest political moments in history, but also uh, coming together to be one of the be biggest music moments in history. People are calling like this the mini Grammys. So, of course, we have uh, we have Lady Gaga singing the national anthem. Jennifer Lopez is going to be on stage. They're doing a lot of virtual performances as well. So uh, Justin Timberlake, you've got John Legend, uh, The Boss, Bruce Springsteen, uh, list goes on and on and on. And I have a feeling that there's also going to be a sprinkling of some surprises tomorrow. Uh, so I can't wait to see as we get closer and closer to to the actual show who is going to be on stage because i think it's i think it's going to be a fantastic performance i'm really excited for it you know one of the things uh that, that's interesting about the time we're living in is an artist can have a hit single and then that artist can give that single new life uh, and make more money on it by remixing it ariana grande is doing just that with a big name Ariana Grande, yeah. If we thought that 30, uh, 34, 35 wasn't big enough, like this is humongous. Of course, she was teasing last week that she would be having a couple uh, special guests remix her track, and she didn't need to do that. But yeah, of course, we just we just had a big release from her. So she put on Doja Cat and uh, Megan Thee Stallion, and the song for an already existing like certified bomb. I'm going to say it, a big banger. Uh, this is even bigger, and it gives a little bit more depth to the song. Of course, a little bit more a little bit more spice, and both uh, Doja and Megan Thee Stallion verses on it. Are are, are incredible. So Ariana Grande at this point, like she doesn't need to be doing anything. She keeps out putting out new music and she can do no wrong. She's incredible right now. <laughs> what about uh, Demi Lovato? Because she's she's got a new documentary and this one from what I hear is pretty personal. It absolutely is. And we haven't really seen a personal side uh, to Demi or her telling her own story for the past few years since she put out her last documentary. And and she wants to talk about healing. She wants to talk uh, about her life over the past three years. Of course, she's had a lot of, uh, you know, mental health difficulties, um, abuse, uh, substance abuse difficulties, and coming back from that with the help of uh, rehab and program work. And she's been really, really open and vulnerable and honest about her, her progress with that, which is so wonderful to see. So this uh, new documentary, docu-series, is going to be dropping in March, and we're going to get to see that vulnerable side of Demi. And she's always been so outspoken and genuine and authentic. And I just, I, I can't wait to see her tell her story in her own words. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. So that should be coming out uh, in a little less than two yeah. months. Can't wait for it. I, I, I've been covering her since the, I guess, the Camp Rock days. And to see <sighs> her evolution and the rise mm -hmm. and the fall and the rebirth uh, and the mm -hmm. fact that you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, these things only land if the person who's telling the story is willing to be as truthful and as authentic as possible. And it seems like that's what she's doing. So congratulations to her and, uh, and all the best. Hey, th Jax, thanks so much for being here. I know you'll be watching the inauguration with us as well. So thanks so much and uh, enjoy your Tuesday. Thank you, Ben. Have a great <laughs> day. Right. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.